And just so you, you probably are all aware, on 30 September, uh, an election uh, storage facility was robbed in your state. 30 USB devices were stolen and a laptop. Those, uh, those USB devices more than likely had uh, encryption devices. And you've just heard another previous witness um, talk about the, the, the non-standard use of, of the USB uh, storage devices. So these systems, uh, in a nutshell, allow authorized and unauthorized users to cancel votes, shift votes, preload votes, vote blank ballots, all in real time and in large numbers. They're connected from the top to the bottom. So one bad actor or a team of bad actors can have equally negative inputs. It's been described uh, by a, uh, uh, another uh, person in another state that we're working with, uh, just like the lotto. Whoever, whoever organizes the lotto is always gonna win. It's controlling the numbers and it's controlling the margins. Our experts uh, and other academics believe that up to 1.2 million Pennsylvania votes could have been altered or fraudulent. This is what we discovered in the last 22 days. Really only a detailed forensic analysis of the actual machines and software will truly show how many Pennsylvania citizens have had their civil rights violated. 